The inspiration for the pieces on this CD came from various sources. The inspiration on territorial songs came from a novel by an Italian author, uh, Italio Calvino, who made a, a novel called Mr. Palomar. And this Mr. Palomar, he's, he's finding out various things, amongst them uh, Blackbird, the song of the blackbirds. And this describing of the song of the blackbirds was the sound picture that I had in my head starting writing this piece. And I worked together with Mikala on, on extended techniques uh, such as singing and playing at the same time on the flute. And the first piece on the CD, Flow, is um, is inspired by Mozart. It was a it, it, it was a commission, a twin commission to Mozart's flute concerto in D major and I took bits and pieces from his music and turned it around, you know, intervals uh, up and down and uh, then um, I also, the title is also uh, a kind of funny because I, I took the first part of, of uh, Mozart's first name and turned it around, Wolf became Flo. Um, and the, the Sorrow and Joy for solo flute was a commission, or Mikala asked me to, to write a piece inspired by Jakob van Eyck's pieces, um, where the melody always is placed in the right place, even if there are pl in between are played many notes. So um, that was a, a task to do a piece. I, I, it's also always difficult for me to write, or it's the most difficult for a composer, I think, or, or for me, to write a solo piece, because it has to be melody and accompaniment at the same time, and stuff like that. Um, the, the piece I, for choir and, and uh, recorder, has also the blackbird in the text, because it's it's a poem that are built, is built on Wallace Stevens' um, uh, poem, 13 Ways of Looking at Blackbirds. So um, there is a lot of blackbird imitation in this piece. The piece for, uh, for 12 solo strings and um, recorder was an homage to Axel Borup Jorgensen which I have known for many years, actually since 1988, until he died. Um, and it is, its name is Winter Echoes. And it, it has nothing to do with, with the music by Axel Borg Jürgensen, but he's also always or often uses winter in his, in his um, pieces. So it's, it's winter and the piece is constructed uh, like echoes or like imitations, actually. I see the five different uh, recorder on this CD as individual character and they have a, a wide range of uh, expression uh, and uh, the highest of them, the soprano and sopranino, are very powerful in their highest range 
and can also be dolce or soft or plate dolce or soft i use it often in this uh, on this cd both of them both the powerful and the soft and the uh, the alto is a very powerful instrument but a little bit melancholic and the the tenor is certainly melancholic instrument and the the bass instrument is a very mysterious instrument most maybe the most mysterious instrument that is actually i see it as and i use it really as mysterious in in the introduction of uh, of i for example and um, and also in other places of my music <laughs> 